There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket-wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby, Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys. Until that fateful day, when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from Platform 9 and 3 quarters and left the Muggle world far behind. Harry sat beneath the sorting hat, hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor! Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. Now, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry, so search behind every door. But keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Oh, um, which reminds me, uh, the third floor corridor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer the most. Painful death. Well now, it's nice to see a new face and a Gryffindor too. Good for you. I can't remember the last time I opened up. I'm a bit rusty, you see. I'm not sure I still can. However, if you can find out the correct password, I'll give it a go. Off you go then, but be careful, there are some odd creatures about. By the look of that scar, you must be Harry Potter. I'm Fred Weasley, and this is my brother, George. Hello there, Harry. We have a proposal for you. In Hogwarts, there are special portraits, and behind these special portraits are prizes. But of course, not just anyone can open up the portraits. You need to know the password. If you bring us earwax every flavor beans, we'll tell you the password. We'll be in the Gryffindor common room, which is through the portrait of the fat lady. See you around, Harry. Password? Caput Draconis. When you drink a Wigan Wild Potion, it replenishes all you have. Remarkable, isn't it? any stamina, grab a chocolate frog, it will give you back some energy. Gringotts break-in latest. Investigations continue into the break-in at Gringotts, rumoured to be the work of dark wizards. Gringotts goblins today insisted that nothing had been taken. The contents of the vault in question, which remain unidentified, had been withdrawn earlier that same day.
Harry. Remember me, Ron Weasley? That slimy Slytherin, Draco Malfoy, ran through this door with an owl under his arm. I think it was your owl Hedwig. Let's go after him. Come on, Harry. Let's find Hedwig. Well, 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 if it isn't the famous Harry Potter. I'm Draco Malfoy, and you do well to show me respect. Looking for that owl of yours? How careless of you to leave it lying about. Go home to your mother, Potter. Oh, sorry, you don't have one, do you? He's a nasty piece of work. Just ignore him. Us Gryffindors should stick together. Come on, Harry, follow me. To climb up, just push forwards on your controller. Let's go. Follow me. To jump, just approach the edge and keep pressing forwards on the controller. Look, there's another feather. I'll double back and watch the entrance. You better go on and rescue Hedwig. Mm. Mm. My name is Nearly Headless Nick and I am the Gryffindor House Ghost. Oh, look how tall this room is. Well, I mean, you must go all the way to the top to get out. If you want to look around, press your triangle button. Press the triangle button again when you've finished. Ah, some snails have escaped from a Care of Magical Creatures class. Careful, they're dreadfully poisonous. Press the cross button to cast the Fipendo knockback jinx from your wand. That should stop the wretched things. And watch out for those poisonous snail trails. You can use your L2 and R2 buttons to rotate the game camera. Press the triangle button to view your surroundings. You can also cast a Flipendo knockback jinx from this view. See what you can find to Flipendo in this room. Hello again, 
Lillian, did you notice that those poisonous snails twinkle? Yes. Things that twinkle can be affected by a flippendo knockback jinx. This is a jinx block. Your flippendo knockback jinx will move it aside. To move the jinx block, cast flippendo at it. This far, now take a look at this. A tall jinx block like this one needs a charged flippendo knockback jinx to move it. To cast a charged knockback jinx, hold down the cross button to build up the spell before releasing it. Bottom. Malfoy led me down here and then ran through a secret passage with an owl. Now I'm trapped by these enchanted books. I've lost my wand, so I can't knock the books out of the way with Flipendo. Use the R1 button to point your wand at the flying books, then use your cross button to cast. around here somewhere. There! I found it! Charge Flipendo Nutbreak Jinx might free Hegwood from those bars. Keep the cross button held down to cast one. I really want to get out of this place. It's scary. rescued Hedwig. She was eager to get out, so I opened the door for her. That'll teach Malfoy to mess with us. Hi, I'm Neville. I'm in Gryffindor too. Harry helped me escape from some flapping books. Nice to meet you, Neville. Come on down. Uh, it's all right. You guys go ahead. I think I've lost my toad, Trevor. Come on, Harry. Let's go.
Wow! Hickory brought you a broomstick! I'll show you where the flying lesson is. Follow me! Here's the doorway to the flying lesson. Watch yourself, Harry. I hear Madame Hooch is really strict. I'm still waiting for my broomstick. Our stupid owl is ancient. It's going to take forever. I'll wait for you here. I am Madame Hooch, your teacher. There is a house point bonus if you excel at any of the following tasks. Stay your broomstick using the directional buttons and press the cross button to move forwards. First, fly through each hoop that appears in sequence. On my whistle then. Excellent technique. Ten house points for getting them all. The next test is a little harder, but there are bonus house points if you succeed. Fly through each magic hoop that appears. Remember, slow down to turn tighter. Ready, Potter? On my whistle, then. Three, two, one. Done, Potter. I shall award ten house points for that fine performance. Ready for a tougher challenge? There are bonus house points for a perfect score. As before, fly through each of the magic hoops. Concentrate now. On my whistle. Three, two, one. Dan Potter. A perfect score. Ten more house points for Gryffindor. You have mastered the basics of broomstick control. Now run along. Hi, Harry. Have you met Hermione yet? She's a real know-it-all. And a teacher's pet. No, I am not. Hello, Harry. Charm's class is about to start. Isn't it exciting? She's rather annoying, isn't she? in my spell book. I'll catch you up, Harry. Get to the 
charms class before the timer runs out. Walk through the floating clocks to start the timer. You must be Harry Potter. Welcome to Charms class. You're just in time. Welcome, young wizards. I am Professor Flitwick, and today you will learn the spell Wingardium Leviosa. Watch my wand move and press the symbol button it points to. Complete each sequence three times to learn the spell Wingardium Leviosa. Now you try. Remember, press the symbol button that my wand points to. Get ready. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Superb. Keep up now. It's going to get harder. Not good. Oh dear. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Well done! You've mastered Wingardium Leviosa. Potter, Granger and Weasley, follow me to see the Wingardium Leviosa spell put into practice. Now, listen carefully. An object that can be charmed will be marked with a yellow sparkle. A charmed object can be levitated. Keep the cross button depressed if you want to change the object's height. Try levitating the hourglass onto its pedestal to open the door. Press the triangle button to release the object. Remember to keep the cross button depressed to change its height. Levitate the hourglass onto the pedestal to open the door. Wingardium Leviosa! Well done! Five points to Gryffindor. Ah, hello again, Potter. Your friend, Hagrid. Well, well, Potter. We meet again. Having a tour of the castle, are we? This is as far as you'll be going. You won't get past me, no matter how hard you try. Trapped in a big scary castle, eh? Oh dear, I think Potter is going to cry. Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! Ow! Time for a lesson, Potter. Let me teach you about wizard crackers. 
You're not leaving this castle until I have revenge. Of this upstart. Now, Potter, I'll give you a taste of my super wizard crackers. Now we'll show this twit who the real wizards are! So lucky. Meanwhile, the House Point hourglasses are slowly filling up. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Slytherin. Gryffindor. Gryffindor are in the lead on house points. Will Slytherin hold the House Cup for a seventh consecutive year? It's me, Hagrid. Good to see you. These are the Hogwarts Castle grounds, and I'm the gamekeeper, of course. You'll need to attend your herbology class. Professor Sprout's in the greenhouse waiting for you. Come round my hut later for tea. I've something to ask you. My hut's in the grounds.
Harry Potter, I presume. Welcome to Herbology. You're just in time. Good day, students. I'm Professor Sprout. Right, let's learn how to cast an incendio spell. Watch my wand move around the screen and press the symbols it points to. Complete each sequence three times to learn the incendio spell. That's the ticket. Now let's start the lesson. Get ready. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Most impressive. Now try this one. Not good. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Well done. You've mastered the incendio spell. Now follow me to learn how to use the incendio spell. Let's try the incendio spell to wither a bouncing bulb. Use your wand on the bouncing bulb by the door. Hit the correct symbols and you'll build up enough spell power to affect the bulb. Incendio! Excellent, Harry. Five points to Gryffindor. training yet? This year they're even letting first years train. You should have a go. I hear you're pretty good on a broomstick. Want the password for the portrait, Harry? Bring us blue every flavour beans. But watch yourself. There are some weird creatures running around out there. My poor kitten has fallen down the well. I can't reach her. It's very dark down there. Will you help me? If you can find the bottom of the well, you might find her. I used to have a puffs game, but Fred and George used it for bludger practice. Nintendo. Puffs games, friendly fellas, but they have a large appetite. Hagrid. There you are. I hope you did well in your herbology class. Harry, can you fetch me some fire seeds from a rare plant in the forest? The plant lives just beyond the gargoyle gate. Been some very strange goings on of late. Be careful, Harry. Out of my way, Harry. There's a, there's a huge monster down there. Hello, you're a great. 
Gryffindor student, aren't you? Nice to see a new face. If you want to proceed, you will need to know my password. Once you have it, come see me and I'll open for you. I'll just hang around here for a while. <laughs> Good luck, young Gryffindor. Ah! <sighs> 
Well done, Harry. You've found the fire seeds. Now I can show you what I need them for, but it's our secret, mind you. Come on inside, Harry. Wipe your feet now. Welcome to my home, Harry. It's small, but still roomier than your cupboard under the stairs, eh? I got this from a man in the Hogshead pub. It's a dragon egg. I need some fire seeds to give it that last burst of heat to force it to hatch. Go ahead and put them in the fire, Harry. You've done it, Harry. It's hatching. Up you come, me beauty. Ain't he lovely? I'll call him Norbert. He's a Norwegian Ridgeback, you know. Harry, you're a true friend. I want you to have this book, Quidditch Through the Ages. Hmm, I'd better give Norbert his first feed soon. I'll see you later, Harry. Thanks again. Harry, you'll never guess what I've found. <laughs> this is the entrance to the Quidditch pitch, but first years like us aren't allowed to play. I hear they make exceptions sometimes though, but only if you are very, very good. Here comes Neville. He looks quite upset. Best go and see what he wants. Malfoy stole my remember all. <laughs> he ran off onto the school grounds with it. I need the remember all to find my toad. Please help me. Come on, I'll show you where he went. Bottom has gone snivelling to you, and you want me to give you his precious remember all. I think I'll leave it somewhere for Longbottom to collect. How about up a tree? Think you can catch me? Come on then, Potter! And you better watch out for my bludgers. Ha ha ha! 
Potter! Here, take this stupid thing. I've no use for it. Thanks, Harry. I'll be able to find my toad now. I remember now. I left Trevor near the herbology class. There are plants there that eat toads. Mr. Potter, I'm Professor McGonagall, Deputy Headmistress of Hogwarts and Head of Gryffindor House. Although I do not approve of your chasing Malfoy about, I'll admit you have remarkable talent on a broomstick. Ordinarily, first-year students may not compete in Quidditch. In your case, we might overlook that rule. Hurry along to the Quidditch pitch. Your first match against Hufflepuff is about to start. Wow! You're going to play Quidditch! And as a seeker too! I just wanted to wish you good luck, Harry. Everyone's talking about you becoming a seeker, Harry. Why, you're the youngest seeker at Hogwarts in a century. As soon as I heard, I rushed down from my hut to give you a big congratulations. I know you'll catch the snitch first, I just know it. Welcome to Quidditch! I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan! The Quidditch pitch has three goals at each end. The chasers throw the cockle and try to put it through the hoops to score. Watch out for the bludgers! These are charm balls that can knock you off your broomstick. Two beaters on each team try to keep them away. Gryffindor's new team seeker is Harry Potter! It's his job to find and catch the golden snitch. Remember, when the snitch appears, it releases speed rings that will help the seeker fly faster. Here comes Potter! <laughs> A glint of gold! Is that the snitch? Potter's seen the snitch! Yeah! Potter's moving in for the kill! This is amazing! Ooh. Amazing skill!
Well now, if it isn't the notorious Mr. Potter. Remember my name, it's Professor Snape. And I know all about you, boy. Is that a library book in your grimy little hand? Library books, by definition, are not to be taken from the library. I'll just confiscate that, thank you. As soon as my missing sloth brain is recovered, we'll start the first potions lesson. Hey, it's a piece of a map. Hold on. This is Fred and George's handiwork. The map shows there is a forgotten area around here. I wonder if it could be behind that old rusty door. The map says there is a magic word to open the door. Well, here goes. Alahamora! Wow, look! I've opened that rusty door. Come on, let's see where it leads. Wow! I'll bet this is where my brothers have hidden the sloth brain that Snape's after. Let's split up and have a look about. Venomous Tentacular, beware, Hagrid. Pufferpod Patch, good fun to throw around, Hagrid. Only approach with a Wingardium Leviosa spell, Hagrid. Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa!
Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! Harry, meet me in the dungeons, your friend, Hermione. Great, you found the sloth brain. Let's go back to Hogwarts. The race for the House Cup continues. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Slytherin. Gryffindor. Gryffindor are in the lead on house points. The race for the house cup is heating up. Let's go and give Snape his missing potion ingredient. We'll be in big trouble if he catches us here. He'll think we're the ones who stole it. Um, then again, maybe I'll just wait here. Snape gives me the willies. Ah. Potter has found the sloth brain. Was it clever hunting, or a thief's guilty conscience? So where was it, Potter? Within your own head? Bring it to class. Heading for potions class, Harry. Don't be late. Snape's a royal pain. He's always looking for an excuse to take house points away from Gryffindor. We need green every flavour beans for our next experiment. You know, the troll bogey ones. Bring us the beans and we'll give you the password for the portrait. Someone's been practicing the dark arts in the dungeon, so watch your step. 
Oh my, you're not going to cast a curse on me, are you? Oh, it's normally so nice and deathly quiet here, but all manner of strange things are afoot. I can show you a place to hide if you tell me the password. Off you go then, and be very careful. Deal with a stolen object from Gringotts, maybe. But we'll have to attend potions class first. Come on, Harry. We don't want to keep Snape waiting. Professor Quirrell placed these platforms to test his students, but I can't figure out how to get at them. I think I need to attend the Defence Against the Dark Arts class before I can stand on them. Now pay attention, Potter. To mix a Wiganweld potion, first activate the cauldron. Then you have to press the three symbols indicated until the cauldron fills. If you manage to fill your cauldron, which I doubt, you'll be able to activate the cauldron to retrieve the potion. Your turn, Potter. Good enough. Only a fool would expect better. Potter, I've never seen such pathetic work. Go fetch the jar of fireflies from the adjoining room. I hear her down there meowing!
Wingardium Leviosa! Thanks, Harry! Here's a famous Witches and Wizards card for you. Edgar Struber. Edgar Struger, 1703 to 1798, inventor of the Sneakoscope.
I wasn't expecting you back. So soon. Give me those fireflies. Now leave me in peace, Potter. Your defense against the Dark Arts class with Professor Quiddle is about to start, and you're already late. Welcome, young Mr. Potter, to d d defense against dark arts. You're just in time. Gather round, class. I'm P P Professor Quirrell, and this is your d d defense against the dark arts lesson. You may b begin, Harry. T today we'll learn a most p powerful spell, Vertimilius. Get ready. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. C -c Concentration, please. It's going to, to get difficult. That was good. Excellent. Not good. Excellent. Perfect. Watch out for this one. Not good. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. You may now enter the chamber one at a time to practice the Verdimilius spell.
now, Harry. Let's see how you d defend yourself against the d d dark arts. First, c cast your Verdimilia spell toward the d darkness. Observe how the Verdimilia spell flares, forcing back the d d darkness, lighting the p path across. F f follow the path quickly, as your spell will only hold off the d d darkness for a b brief time. Good luck, young wizard. Verdi Minius! Impressive. Five points to Gryffindor. Harry, I've been waiting for ages. Do you remember that Dumbledore said that the upper castle is out of bounds to all students? That must be where the stolen object is. Let's split up and look for a way up there. Good luck, Harry. Hello, Harry. I've got a bit of fun for you. Within the time limit, use your knockback jinx to push the cauldrons onto the heated grills. If you get them stuck in a corner, come and see me. Good luck.
Well done, Harry. You've pushed all the cauldrons into their correct places. Here's a famous witches and wizards card for your efforts. Godric Gryffindor. Godric Gryffindor, medieval, dates unknown. Co-founder of Hogwarts, gave his name to one of the four Hogwarts houses. Harry, I've got a bit of fun for you. Within the time limit, use your knockback jinx to push the cauldrons onto the heated grills. If you get them stuck in a corner, come and see me. Good luck! pushed all the cauldrons into their correct places. Here's a famous witches and wizards card for your efforts. Bowman Wright. Bowman Wright, 1492 to 1560, famous for developing the Golden Snitch. I've got a bit of fun for you. Within the time limit, use your knockback jinx to push the cauldrons onto the heated grills. If you get them stuck in a corner, come and see me. Good luck! Oh. 
Well done, Harry. You've pushed all the cauldrons into their correct places. Here's a famous witches and wizards card for your efforts. Cassandra Vablatsky. Sandra Vablatsky, 1894 to 1997, celebrated seer and author of Unfogging the Future. Someone has been casting spells of the dark arts, Harry. It's all very peculiar, I must say. The exit to the dungeons is blocked by a horrendous set of curses. Dark arts magic, I'm sure. There are four curses and each must be dispelled before the door will unlock. The actual curses are hidden around the dungeon. Once found, use your knockback jinx to dispel them.
Well done, Harry. You've dispelled all four curses. Whoever put them there really wants to stop students exploring the castle. Oh my, look at the time. You've been down here for so long, the transfiguration class is about to start. Uh, don't be late. Professor McGonagall is head of Gryffindor House. You don't want to upset her. The transfiguration class is situated in the upper castle. You can gain access to it from Gryffindor Tower. to sample the rare delights of the upper castle, eh? Just watch out for Filch and his cat, Mrs. Norris. Anyway, we'll trade the portrait password for, oh, say, red every flavour beans? Chilli powder flavour. Hot as blazes. Join us, Harry. We're about to start the Transfiguration lesson.
Transfiguration is the most complex and dangerous magic you'll learn at Hogwarts. Anyone messing around in my class will leave and not come back. You have been warned. Watch my wand move around the screen and press the symbol button it points to. Complete each sequence three times to learn the transfiguration spell, Aviforce. Get ready. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Good. Now try and keep up. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Very well, let's keep going. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Well done, class. Now let's put the spell into practice. Harry Potter, follow me, please. Welcome, Harry. First, use your wand to cast a transfiguration spell on the statue. Now, hit your symbol button at the right time in order to transfigure the statue into its new shape. Let's see if you can transform this statue, and perhaps you'll find a way to reach the doorway at the top of the room. First, use your wand to cast a transfi- Now, hit your symbol button at the right time. Oh. Abby Fords! Well done, Mr. Potter. Five points to Gryffindor. Now use the floating table to leave the glass. Meanwhile, the House Point hourglasses are slowly filling up. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Slytherin. Gryffindor. Slytherin are in the lead on house points. The race for the house cup is heating up. Abby Fords! It's Chamber Party Potter. I've got your parcel, Potter. Want it back, do we? Let's have a chase through the attic, then. If you beat me to the end, I might give it back. Or I might not. Let's just see, shall we? Off we go, then. Hello, Harry.
Harry, try and get ten every flavour beans from the kitten before time runs out. Watch out for those unstable blocks. Good luck. Roderick Plumpton, 1889 to 1987, seeker for England Quidditch team, holds British record for fastest capture of snitch during game. Three and a half seconds. We start here. You must run across the roof beams. I've covered some of them in slippery flobber mucus just for you, Potter. If you get to the end before me, you win! Off we go, Potty Potter! My father left this invisibility cloak in my possession before he died. It is time it was returned to you. Use it well. To activate this cloak, 
Pick up the invisibility tokens. They will only work for a short time, so be careful. Well now, students aren't allowed in here, are they? There are things in the Forbidden Corridor that are not for the eyes of mere boys like you. No, no indeed. Dumbledore has ordered that no students are to enter this corridor. And don't go trying a secret passage. Mrs. Norris and I know them all. Now be off with you, before I have you expelled for wasting our time! We are in trouble now, aren't we? Snape, you said to alert you if I heard anyone sneaking around in the Forbidden Corridor. Well, Mrs. Norris and I suspect that one of the students may be trying to sneak past us. I see. That's very interesting, Mr. Filch. And I have an idea who it might be. But we have ways of dealing with interlopers. You have my permission to use the harshest measures necessary. There is something very special in the Forbidden Corridor that I've had my eye on for some time. We can't let anyone interfere with my plans, can we, Mr. Filch? 
No, indeed, Professor Snipe. Mrs. Norris and I will be extra vigilant watching out for intruders. See that you do, Mr. Filch. I have something special planned for anyone who tries to defy me. Reflected in the mirror of Erised were Harry's parents, James and Lily Potter. Harry stared hungrily back as though hoping to fall right through the glass and reach them. He was startled when a voice sounded behind him. Harry turned slowly about. So you, like hundreds before you, have discovered the delights of the mirror of Erised, said Professor Dumbledore. He went on to explain that the mirror showed nothing more or nothing less than the deepest, most desperate desire of our hearts, but that it would give neither knowledge nor truth. The mirror of Erised will be moved to a new home shortly, Dumbledore went on, adding ominously that if Harry ever came across it again, he would be prepared. But prepared for what, thought Harry. A huge troll is on the rampage! It's cornered Hermione in the girls' bathroom! She needs our help! We must try to rescue her straight away! Come on, Harry! We have to get moving!
hurry. You distract the troll and I'll find Amani. Are you all right, Hermione? <laughs> Harry, I'll try to charm the troll's club so it bashes him on the head. Use your knockback jeans to keep those toilets from hitting us. Mr. Potter, Hogwarts' second Quidditch match of the year is about to begin. Gryffindor will be competing against the redoubtable talents of the Ravenclaw team. I realize this comes on short notice, but you're the best seeker we've had for ages. We're all waiting for you at the Quidditch pitch, so come at once. Deputy Headmistress McGonagall. Getting ready for Quidditch, are you? It's going to be an exciting game. Ravenclaw is a fine team. Hagrid, what do you know about the third floor? You mean Fluffy. Fluffy? Yeah, I bought him off a Greek chappy I met in the pub last year. I lent him a Dumbledore to guard the, uh... Guard the what? Don't ask me any more. That's top secret, that is. You forget that dog and what he's guarding. That's between Professor Dumbledore and Nicholas Flamel. Who's Nicholas Flamel? Never you mind. I'm off. You better get going, Harry. The Quidditch match is about to start. Welcome to Quidditch! I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan! The Quidditch pitch has three goals at each end. The chasers throw the couple and try to put it through the hoops to score. Watch out for the bludgers. These are charm balls that can knock you off your broomstick. Two beaters of each team try to keep them away. Harry Potter is once again Gryffindor's team seeker. In the last match against Hufflepuff, he caught the snitch to win the game. 
Remember, when the snitch appears, it releases speed rings that will help the seeker fly faster. Here comes Potter! A glint of gold! Is that the snitch? Potter's seen the snitch! Yeah! The crowd is on its feet! Come on, Harry Potter! A near miss for Potter! Ah! I've not seen such flying! Dodge is a speeding bludger! This is amazing! Oh, that was close! I've not seen such flying! Here comes the Ravenclaw Seeker! I've got some bad news, Harry. Norbert isn't doing too well. He's very sick. We need to make him some special dragon tonic to pep him up again. The tonic needs some very rare components, though, when there aren't any in the castle. So you and I must go to Diagon Alley to get them. We need three peacock feathers, one eagle owl feather, and three giant purple toad warts. But we can't buy anything without money. Go to Gringotts to get some canuts, sickles, and galleons. Grip hook will see you right. I'm off to the leaky cauldron for a few butter beers if you need me. I'll meet you when you're all done. Gone on holiday. Back next week. Due to some faulty cauldrons causing a stir, we are closed today. So Harry Potter, yes? I understand you seek an eagle owl feather. For three sickles, I will allow you to go out to the back and fetch one for yourself. Hmm, no sickle coins, eh? Try Gringotts the Goblin Bank.
Welcome to Gringotts, Mr. Potter. To access the vault, you must collect all the forms and then hand them to the goblin outside the door. The first vault is on your left as you go through these double doors. Good luck. Do you wish to collect some canuts? If you wish to visit the first vault, you must complete the paperwork by collecting the appropriate forms. Move swiftly, though, or you will have to start again. Good afternoon, Mr. Potter. I'll explain how to steer the mine cart. Swing the mine cart left and right using the directional buttons. The cross button will lock the mine cart to help collect some of the more difficult canuts. Be careful, Mr. Potter. There are many obstacles in these mines. Steer clear of them if you want to hold on to your coins. There are bonus gems hidden in this mine, and only accurate control of your mine cart will reveal them. Collect as many canuts as you can to complete the level. Congratulations, Mr. Potter. You have succeeded. Care to have another go? Please return to the bank through this door. to Diagon Alley so soon, Mr. Potter. I'm sure we'll see you again soon.
closed due to family illness? Perfect eagle owl feather will cost you three sickles. A perfect eagle owl feather will cost you three sickles. Gone to Paris for which which fashion show? We apologise to our customers for temporary closure. We are trying to locate our disappearing ink. I see you have three nut coins. Feel free to collect your peacock feathers. My peacock lives in the yard. My advice is to sneak up on him. The surprise makes him drop his feathers. I must warn you, never use your wand against a peacock. You might hurt yourself. Have a good look around. There are boxes filled with things I've long forgotten. Three of his feathers, eh? I suspected you would do well. I see you have a cannot coin. Do you wish to try for the sickle now? If you wish to try for the sickle coin, you must gather the correct forms again.
Mr. Potter, I understand you're quite expert in the collection of canuts. I wonder if you'll prove as talented at collecting sickles. There are bonus gems hidden in this mine, and only accurate control of your mine cart will reveal them. Be careful, Mr. Potter. There are many obstacles in these mines. Stay clear of them if you want to hold on to your coins. Remember, swing the mine cart from left to right using the directional buttons and use the cross button to lock the mine cart. Good luck. Congratulations, Mr. Potter, you have succeeded. You want to try again? Please return to the bank through this door. to Diagon Alley so soon, Mr. Potter. I'm sure we'll see you again soon. Excellent, you have three sickle coins that entitles you to purchase an eagle owl feather. My eagle owl is in the owlery, but he's rather highly strung. He must be fed before you can charm a feather from him. His treats are on the table in the owlery. Use the Wingardium Leviosa spell to get the food to the eagle owl. Use the cross button to charm the owl treat, and then guide it to the eagle owl using the directional buttons and the cross button to keep it off the floor. Once he's fed, he'll nap, then you may use the same charm to lift the feather back. Good luck, my boy. Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! Oh. 
Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! You've got your feather, I see. Well done, and thank you very much. Do call again soon, Harry, and give my regards to Hedwig. Cheerio! Excellent. Do you have a sickle coin now? Do you wish to try for the galleon? If you wish to try for the galleon coin, you will have to collect the correct forms again. Ah, the famous Mr. Potter. You have quite a reputation down here, sir. The other goblins are convinced you'll steer the mine cart easily. Steering is still left and right on the directional buttons. The cross button locks the mine cart. Good luck, you may need it. Be careful, Mr. Potter. There are many obstacles in these mines. Steer clear of them if you want to hold on to your coins. There are bonus gems hidden in this mine, and only accurate control of your mine cart will reveal them.
Very well done, Mr. Potter. You have collected your galleons. Do you want to try again? You can return to the main foyer through this door. You've collected all three coins now, Mr. Potter. I hope you spend them wisely. to the magical menagerie, Harry. I've been expecting you. It'll cost you one galleon for the three wards, but you'll need to find my giant purple toad first. I've just had a delivery, and my giant purple toad has decided to hide under the boxes. Once you've found him, use your knockback jinx to stun him and remove the ward. Be quick, though. Having wards removed annoys him, and he'll disappear to spite you. I see you've collected your warts. Thanks for your business, Harry. Bye! Well done, Harry. Let's get back to Hogwarts so we can cure poor Norbert. Home again at last. Now we'll give the Dragon Tonic to Norbert. We've done it, Harry. Norbert is well again. Thank goodness I was so worried. I'm glad he's better, but sad in a way. He's old enough to leave the nest and fend for himself now. He'll want to go off on his own now, the wee soul, but I want to keep him here so I can look after him. Harry, Ron and Hermione spent most of their free time in Hagrid's hut, trying to convince him that he couldn't keep Norbert his beloved dragon. Eventually, after much coaxing, Hagrid agreed. That night, Harry carried Norbert up to the tallest tower. Ron's brother, Charlie, had arranged to collect the dragon from the tower and return him to Romania. Once Norbert had been freed, however, Malfoy sprang his trap. Harry was caught by Professor McGonagall. For his detention, Harry was to make his way into the Forbidden Forest and search for a wounded unicorn. Let's split up and search for the unicorn, Harry. The best way to find wounded unicorns is to follow a trail of silver blood. 
It should show up well in this moonlight. Follow the silver blood to find the unicorn. Be careful, the forest can be a dangerous place. I better go, Harry. That spoilt brat Draco is waiting with Fang. If I'm not back soon, Fang might just have him for his dinner. Hagrid sent me to tell you that we haven't found the unicorn yet. I doubt Hagrid could find the boots on his feet without a map. Don't get lost, Potter. Remember, these woods can be very dangerous.
I see you found the Unicorn's blood trail, Harry. I don't understand what would be killing the Unicorns. Never heard anything like it before. There's summit in these woods that shouldn't be. Be careful now and stay with the path. Call me if you find anything. Rowena Ravenclaw, medieval, dates unknown, co-founder of Hogwarts, gave her name to one of the four Hogwarts houses.
Harry was rescued in the nick of time by the centaur Firenze and rode on his back to safety. Firenze explained that unicorn blood had the power to keep someone alive who was an inch from death. Harry realized that the hooded figure he'd seen in the clearing was none other than he who must not be named, Lord Voldemort. Oh, that was a close shave, Harry. Any creature that would kill a unicorn and drink its blood is one to be avoided at all costs. If it was Lord Vold... I mean, he who must not be named, then you better be on your guard. He's a dangerous foe. Oh, I've got a present for you, Harry. I made it myself. Some creatures find music very relaxing. If you play the right tune, you can send them to sleep. In fact, I remember this very tune that I used to play to my Fluffy. Try it out on this barn owl I've been looking after. He needs a good long sleep. Fluffy was as easy to send to sleep. But you'd best be getting back to your lessons now. Thanks again, Harry. You're a real friend. I've been doing some reading about Nicholas Flamel, the wizard that Hagrid mentioned. He's the creator of the Sorcerer's Stone. Supposedly it can grant eternal life to its user. If it's here, there may be snakes after it. There are even rumours that you know who's involved. We have to find a way to get past Fluffy. That must be where the stone is being kept. Ron and I will meet you on the third floor by the doorway that leads to Fluffy. We have to get the stone first. Come on, Ron, let's go. I suppose. Hengist of Woodcroft, medieval, dates unknown, driven away from his home by muggle persecutors, Hengist is supposed to have settled in Scotland. This is where he found the village of Hogsmeade. The Three Broomsticks Inn is alleged to be Hengist's old home.
Hello, Harry. Try to grab all the Bertie Botts beans, but mind the bouncing bulbs. If they bump you, you'll lose some of your beans. You collected all the Bertie Box beans. You've earned a famous Witches and Wizards card for your troubles. Derwent Shimpling. 1912 to present, ate an entire venomous tentacular for a bit and survived, <laughs> though it's still purple. those blue every flavour beans yet? <laughs> Madam Hooch was really impressed by my broomstick control. Maybe what? Nice one, Harry. You've got the beans we needed. The portrait password is Wolf Spain. Thanks for the beans, Harry. We'll make sure they find a good home. Have you heard the rumour? There's a troll on the loose around here. Smells worse than Percy's socks. And that's saying something. Harry, I think someone's making a move to steal the Sorcerer's Stone. Harry, I know you are brave, but promise me you'll be very careful. Meanwhile, the House Point hourglasses are slowly filling up. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Slytherin. Gryffindor. Slytherin are in the lead on house points.
The race for the House Cup is heating up. Hagrid recalled this monster Fluffy. Of course! Harry, do you remember that Hagrid said that he used to calm Fluffy with music? Try and play the tune that Hagrid mentioned to put each of Fluffy's heads to sleep. Be careful though, he looks ferocious. This is, it's a devil's snare. Oh, I'm so glad we know what it's called. That's a great help. Try and figure out the sequence of tentacles and then use the incendio spell to defeat it. Try not to get too close to those tentacles. Flipendo! 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 Flipendo!
time to put your Quidditch skills to practice. Good luck, Harry. puzzle is a gigantic chessboard. Rom's gone through to play. I hope he's all right. I've defeated most of the pieces, Harry, but I don't think I can go on. It's up to you now. Oh, Ron, are you all right? Harry, you have to be careful and avoid the pieces. They all move one square at a time. You'll have to make the pieces fight each other in order to get across safely.
I'm going to find the right spell to open the next door. It better not wake up or we'll be in big trouble. Charm all of these objects out of its way. This one. Let's see what's next. Looks like you'll have to choose a cup that contains the knight and the shield. Did you see the symbol on the shield? It looks like an ice potion. That must be what we need to get through the fire. Potion. You'll have to go on alone, I'm afraid. I'm going to find some help for Ron. Please be careful, Harry.
I wondered whether I'd be meeting you here, Potter. You're far too inquisitive to remain among the living. Give me the stone. I know you have it. Let me speak to him face to face. But Master, you're not strong enough. I have strength enough for this. Hand over the stone. Flipendo! Flipendo! Die, Potter! Die, Potter! Oh! 
Dumbledore smiled. What happened down in the dungeons between yourself and Professor Quirrell is a complete secret, he said. So naturally, the whole school knows. The stone had been destroyed, but Harry remained fearful that its loss would not prevent Lord Voldemort's return. Dumbledore nodded, sharing his concern. Nevertheless, Harry, if our battles do no more than slow Voldemort's return, with luck he may never regain his power at all. Harry made his way down to the end of the year feast alone that night. The great hall was decked out in green and silver to celebrate Slytherin winning the house cup. When Harry entered, there was a sudden hush. He took a seat between Ron and Hermione, trying to ignore the stares of the other students. The house cup, announced Dumbledore, is awarded to the team with the most house points. At the moment, that would seem to be Slytherin. 
storm of cheering and stamping broke out from the Slytherin table. However, continued Dumbledore, in recognition of Mr. Harry Potter's pure nerve and outstanding courage, I award Gryffindor 60 points. Harry's table erupted with cheers and applause. The additional points had won the House Cup for Gryffindor. It was the best evening of Harry's life. Better than winning at Quidditch or Christmas or knocking out mountain trolls. He would never, ever forget tonight.
Finally, let's see who will win this year's House Cup. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Slytherin. Gryffindor. Gryffindor are in the lead on house points. Derwent Shimpling, 1912 to present. Bowman Wright, 1492 to 1560. Famous for developing the Golden Snitch. Cassandra Vablatsky, 1894 to 1997. Celebrated seer and author of Unfogging the Future. Godric Gryffindor, medieval, dates unknown. Co-founder of Hogwarts, gave his name to one of the four Hogwarts houses. Edgar Strulger, 1703 to 1798, inventor of the Sneakoscope. Rowena Ravenclaw, medieval, dates unknown. Co-founder of Hogwarts, gave her name to one of the four Hogwarts houses. Roderick Plumpton, 1889 to 1987, seeker for England Quidditch team, holds British record for fastest capture of snitch during game. Three and a half seconds. Hengist of Woodcroft, medieval, dates unknown, Driven away from his home by Muggle persecutors, Hengis is supposed to have settled in Scotland. This is where he found the village of Hogsmeade. The Three Broomsticks Inn is alleged to be Hengis' old home. 